Hi, in this video, we would quickly describe the concept of affinity and avidity of antigen-antibody interaction. So these two terms determines the interaction between antigen and antibody. Not only interaction, the strength of interaction and the degree which uh, and also the kinetics of the interaction between antigen and antibody. So antigen and antibody interacts in multiple non-covalent way and all these interactions are reversible. So most prevalent interactions are hydrogen bond, ionic interactions, then hydrophobic interactions and van der Waals interactions. All these are relatively weak interactions and they are reversible. So affinity is a measure of the strength of interaction between the epitope, that means uh, the specific antigenic determinant and the antibodies and antigen binding site. So between these two, the binding strength is known as affinity. Now affinity could be defined or could be described in the simple thermodynamic principle which governs the biomolecular, bi biomolecular reversible interactions. So assuming there is antigen and antibody is making a complex and this complex this complex could be broken down as well and that is why this interaction is reversible and this is denoted by simple equation like mentioned here so the equilibrium equilibrium association constant would be simply defined like this and the dissociation on the other hand would be determined like this and a ratio of association versus dissociation would give the binding affinity of an antigen antibody reaction now this antigen and, and antigen antibody interaction is happening at a molecular level so we are, we were talking about a microscopic level which would and the measure of this microscopic interaction is affinity now let's just talk about at a macroscopic level that means a antigen a, a antibody could have multiple different antigen binding sites I mean that is determined by its valency. For example, IgA has four antigen binding sites, where IgM has ten. So the overall interaction between all of these antigen potential antigen binding site is collectively known as avidity. So we can simply understand avidity as affinity at a macroscopic level. Now, avidity is dependent upon three major parameters definitely affinity of the anti antibody towards its epitope so greater the affinity greater would be affinity as well then valency of the antibody so greater the valency greater would be avidity for example igm has greater avidity than igt and last but not the least is the molecular arrangement of the epitope and the <coughs> anti antibody antigen binding site inside the antibody so this three dimensional arrangement sometimes can uh, allow conformational change that would help in further stronger interaction sometimes so all these three parameters are important to describe the avidity of a uh, uh, antigen antibody reaction so i hope you enjoyed this video if you like this video give it a quick thumbs up don't forget to like share and subscribe thank you